High Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and of course those cross-watching. And welcome to your Tarot Love Readings. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether the energies of your special someone, your romantic interests, whether he or she will come back into your life and whether the two of you are destined to cross paths together. Um, as always guys, this is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and we'll see whether or not the cards predict that your person will be back. and the King of Swords. Okay. Okay, I feel like with this person's energy, they are likely to be very dedicated to you as a lover, especially with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here. Um, they do have a very uh, stubborn demeanor here, which explains why they're potentially not communicating here with you. Or which explains why the two of you are in some sort of division or separation, right? The Tower card is also suggested to us that there is some sort of tumultuous energy around this person. It's hard to say whether this is an external kind of energy or whether this uh, tumultuous energy is more internal and emotional. But it appears as though your person here feels very, you and your person, to me, feel very disconnected right now at this point in time. It also um, tells me that it's like your person is waiting for you to communicate. Now, I don't know who had the last say, and I don't know exactly what was said, but things seem a little bit disconnected, a little bit uncomfortable amongst the two of you. Your person is very stubborn here, very stubborn, and it's like they've made the decision to pull away, or they made the decision to ghost you, or they made the decision, you know, um, to... Um, go a separate way here and it's like they want to stick to their guns they do want to come back and possibly communicate with you but to me i'm getting that they're a little bit too stubborn it's almost like they'll either the energies that i get from the from them it's almost like they'll do it when it's convenient for them like on their own terms or they're waiting for you to extend some sort of olive branch or they're waiting for you to sort of open up the channels of communication here your person is also very um, career focused. They're heavily focused on career here, on uh, building themselves a reputation here, on building a business. I feel like for a lot of you, you're dealing with someone who has their own business here or who wants to grow their own business or has career ambitions here to launch a business or a company here. I'm getting traditional, like a traditional company, so I don't know if it's like a family business or there's a continuation of a family business that they've inherited or they want to build one and then um, sort of have that, see it through. Um, so this person is also someone who's very traditional. They are seeking a traditional partner and they want uh, a traditional like type of a relationship here. Um, they are someone who upholds and honors traditional um, values or um, family or cultural traditions here. So the Empress energy tells me that in combination with the Seven of Pentacles, this person is, okay, they're waiting for something. It's hard to say whether they're waiting for things to get better on their end because I do see some sort of tumultuous energy as I pointed out earlier. This could be that the fact that, you know, business, um, their financial resources or their financial situation is not doing as well as they want it to be doing. It could be that there could be some sort of family strife or some sort of personal challenging issues which they're trying to tackle. So right now I feel like, yeah, they think about you from time to time. They do. You cross their mind here and there. Um, and look, they have thought about reaching out to you, 
but they're very stubborn as I've pointed out earlier and this is someone who I feel like okay it's one or two things either this person left things really awkwardly so either this person disconnected from you on a very awkward or uncomfortable kind of energy and I mean like this is someone who's ghosted you you know who's who's vanished who's um, vanished like a Vegas style mu musician um, magician and who, they've dissipated and just disappeared like a puff of smoke into thin air and you know you haven't heard from them there's been no contact here um, so it was very quick it was very abrupt they feel rude and they feel bad for doing that and I feel like they're still dealing with those emotions and this is why they're scared or they're fearful of reaching out to you because potentially they face rejection and potentially they might you know face some very blunt communication from you in which you potentially might hold them accountable for their actions the other thing is maybe this person they have insecurity issues okay that's what's coming through and it's like this person maybe is used to getting chased all the time or they want that attention they want that spotlight shown on them so they want you to reach out and connect with them okay they want you to be the first one to open that channel of communication and if you don't do it then they won't communicate it's that very stubborn and rigid type of energy here but in saying that, okay, so that's, I guess that's their sort of uh, downside. In saying that, if the two of you were to come together and if the two of you were to sort of cooperate, I see that this is someone who would make a very loving, a very dedicated, a very um, loyal partner. Okay, because they do, with the King of Pentacles here, they do want, you know, a traditional relationship in um, in that sense, they want marriage, they want a relationship, they want to settle down, they want commitment, they want something long term. I'm seeing that there is some, like they're building around this person and I feel like due to the appearance of the suit of pentacles, it does point to a business or some sort of family establishment, something long term, something which I do feel like will generate them a successful income, a successful profit and success as well. Um, so yeah, the seven of pentacles this person is waiting now they're either waiting for you to reach out they're waiting for things to get better on their end so they can reach out you know when things are more convenient for them um, or they're waiting for I feel like they're waiting to process something on their end maybe they're waiting to get their business up and running or maybe they have like an um, like a, a large flow of clientele coming their way a lot of business relations I feel and this is where a lot of the energy seems to be focused so maybe they're waiting you know to um, to process all of that will they communicate here um, okay so with the king of swords this is tell this tells me that this person is emitting a very cold energy so what does that mean it's like an icy either this person has like you see them as someone with an icy demeanor, like someone who, you know, if they've ghosted you, then this is someone who has no empathy for your feelings because they've suddenly stopped communicating without, you know, um, an explanation or they never even came back to uh, came back into the picture to apologize. So the King of Swords, this is cold energy being emitted from them. That cold energy, I mean, I could interpret that to mean this is how you perceive this individual, someone who has this icy demeanor, someone who has a lack of empathy for, you know, a lack of regard for someone's uh, for someone's emotions here. It could also be that if you, um, the other interpretation that I'm picking up here is that there will be communication. It's hard to say whether you're the one initiating it though, guys. So if you are the one initiating here, I feel like they will respond. So if you're the one to uh, communicate here, they will respond, which makes sense because it's like they're waiting on your communication, right? So I am seeing that you're getting a response from them. However, I feel like the response is it has an icy undertone to it. So they're going to be very blunt. They're going to be very cold. They're going to be very distant. Um, very detached, very disconnected. It's almost like this isn't the same person you spoke with before. It's almost like this isn't the same person you were dealing with. Um, I'm going to say don't take it personal, okay, because um, it's them, it's not you. I know it's hard for you not to take it personal because you are or you were dealing with this person personally, but hear me out. I do feel like that there is the foundation of something around this person is eroding it could be their business it could be some sort some private life affairs there is something that this person is dealing with and to be honest with you i feel like it's this very thing that this person is dealing with whether it's an internal or external factor i feel like matters very little because that very thing has had a very powerful influence in them 
having stopped communicating with you. So, you know, will this person come back into the picture? Um, I feel like they will, okay? But again, I feel like it's more you're the one that's going to communicate. Now, for those of you sitting there um, listening and, you know, saying to yourself, no way, I'm not communicating, I'm not reaching out. Um, what happens then? I still feel like there will be communication. However, I feel like that communication will come on later in the year. Okay, I feel like that you may hear from this individual around, it may be months until you actually hear from them. And again, they reach out or communicate with you in this sort of cold and distant manner. Because, well, some time has passed or, you know, they, they've ended things abruptly and uncomfortably with you. So there's that to consider. And they're coming in with their guard up because they're scared of your rejection. They're also scared of being held accountable for their actions, which I do think is going to be very important, especially for those of you that were, that dealt with uh, someone who has ghosted them. And I say this because you've got the suit of pentacles. And notice that, you know, the star that's etched on the pentacles. This to me is a strong indicator of patterns. So this person has a... Um, they hold patterns, they hold behavior of patterns. So if someone has ghosted you once, they're more than likely to do it again. So if you don't pull them up about it, they may perceive as, you know, there to be nothing wrong with that kind of action. So it's important that he or she is held accountable. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. For those of you interested in a personalized tarot reading, feel free to inquire. My email address is listed below. Take care, guys, and I'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.